In this segment, we're still going to be covering the Cutting Master 2 plugin, except we're going to highlight cutting printed images. This is where you print an image out on your printer, bring it over to the Craft Robo, put it in, and then it'll cut the contour. Now, there's several things you need to know about this process. First is that it needs registration marks. Well, why does it need the registration marks? First, the registration marks are marks that the Craft Robo sensor reads. And what it does is it makes it like a mapping system for the Craft Robo so that it basically knows where to go when it cuts the contour. It knows the start point, the direction, and the angle in case if the material is not put in correctly or there's some changes that are different from what the original file has. Now, three marks are needed. In order to get these registration marks, Cutting Master 2, the plugin, actually has a section on creating registration marks that will actually place the registration marks right on the drawing, and I'll show you how to do that. What are the steps to cutting your printed designs? Well, the first step is to create two layers, one labeled print and one labeled cut. These steps should be pretty simple. If not, I would recommend that you consult your software's manual to find out how you can create these, these layers. Second is to design the graphic and then place it on the print layer. The next step is to create the cut line and then place it on the cut layer. The print layer will contain everything that is to be printed. The cut layer is obviously every object that is to be cut, in other words, all the cut lines. Next is to create the registration marks. After that, you turn off the cut layer to print the image. And the reason you do this is so that it doesn't print the cut lines that are on your drawing. Next is to place the print into the Craft Robo and get it ready. And then turn on the cut layer and then send the cut line. These are the basic steps. I wanted to give you an overall view of what the procedure is so that you can get these in mind as you create your print and cut designs. As mentioned earlier, there's three steps to do in print cut. Actually, there's four. The first step is to create the design, which I've done here, the point panic. And I've created two of them. The second step is to create an outline. Now, the way I did this is after I created one graphic, I went ahead and created the, the outline or the cut line and then copied everything and then organized it so that everything's to be printed is on the print layer. Everything is to be cut is on the cut layer. So I've completed the first two steps. The third step is to create my registration marks. Now, the way we do this is very simple. We go to File, Cutting Master 2, go to Registration Marks this time, and here's the options. I'm creating a, a type that GraphTech can read or the Craft Robo can read. My units are inches. Now the margin is the margin distance between the outside object, which is usually the cut line, to the registration marks. 0.59 is the lowest number you can go. The direction is something you really have to pay attention to because if my layout is in portrait, like you see here, then I want to set this to vertical. If my design is in, or my document is in landscape, then I want to set this to horizontal. Simple as that. If you get those mixed up, then the Craft Robo won't do exactly. It'll kind of make a movement and it'll give you an error. So just make sure you got the setting correct. So I've got everything set correct. I'll, I'll click OK and there's my registration marks. But you notice how tight they are to the outside and that there's a lot of distance in between where the registration marks are, a lot of space in between the where the registration marks are and my job. Now it did it did its job. It's about a half an inch or a little over a half an inch outside the outermost object. But I want it in a little closer. So what can I do? Well, let me show you. I'll hit Control Z to back up. This time I'll click on my rectangle tool. Now make sure it's the rectangle tool and not the rounded corner rectangle tool. And I'll create a rectangle around all my objects. The way I set up this rectangle is that the corners are where the, I want the registration marks to be. There we go. So I want the rectangle to be outside but as close as I can to the objects. And there it is. You don't want it to cross over because otherwise that point won't cut. 
and this is a little close there. I can bring the top down as close as I want, and then obviously the side as well. So there you have it. Now, once again, I go to File, I go to Cutting Master Robo 2, Registration Marks, and this time, you see how this is highlighted, or this is not grayed out? I convert the rectangle, I click OK, and there's my registration marks exactly where I want them. So now I'm not wasting space. So now I've created the registration marks. The next step is to, the next step is to print the design. So in this case, I really don't want to print my cut lines, unless you're trying to see how accurate the cutter is. But just turn off the cut layer, go to File, and then Print. And print again. While it's printing, I just wanted to mention briefly, I sometimes tend to print two copies, just in case if I make a mistake. Now, I recommend this if you're new at this. Just print two copies, that way you can kind of get a feel for things. Once you get more experience, then obviously you just want to print out one copy. All right, my print's done. Once again, now I, I want to cut the job. I'll go to Cutting Master 2, Cut Plot. All right, there's my job. Now, the first thing you go to is your Advanced tab. Just make sure Use Registration Marks is checked. Now I'm ready to cut. So the first thing I want to do is turn on my cut layer. I go to File, Cutting Master 2, Cut Plot. First, go to the Advanced tab. Make sure Use Registration Mark check mar is checked on the checkbox. I go to my layers. When you first do it, it may default to color. So you click on by layer. I don't want to cut my print layer, so I turn that off, which leaves my contour cut line. I want to set that contour cut line to Bristol because I like Bristol so much. And then just make sure all my settings are correct. Then I just click send and it sends the job. What I've done is, I'm showing you here, I load my material as normal and I line it up against the white wheels. And then, of course, press the Enter to load the material. And then, of course, I come back and then send my job. The first thing you want to do is check your Advanced tab. And it's Use Registration Marks. Next, I want to go to let my layers, make sure I'm not cutting by color, but that I'm cutting by layer and that the print layer is turned off. Enable the driver options. Select the paper that you want. I'm using Bristol paper because I like it. And then click on Send. And what it does is it sends the job. And as you can see now, it's reading the three registration marks. And it will come back and then cut it. If you follow these steps, that I've shown that I've laid out here you should really have no problems taking a print and then cutting a contour around it thank you for watching for more information please contact us today